Morgan Hickam here at Christophe Berlager from Ludically looking at Sequiti, which is a game uh, you plan to release early 2015. Yeah, at the beginning of uh, at Nuremberg. Okay. So it's a two-player asymmetrical game. Exactly. Sheep and Shepherds. Exactly. Okay. Oh, one thing that we have to say is the first game that Ludicali produced that I didn't design myself. Okay. And this game has been done by two Americans. What? William Baldwin and Jim Harmon. All right. I met them in Gen Con and I love their games and I brought it back and we decided to do it. Okay. Maybe you can show us how yeah. the camera so set up in a field. First thing, the, this is, the cover is real, but the box will be a two-player box like Cosmos format, you know, the two-player right. game. Yes. So I didn't have a box like that, so I crafted that quickly. Okay. But it's going to be a box square. So it's a sim asymmetrical game, meaning that one player is going to play the shepherd, which is you in this case, and the yes. other player is going to play the, the sheep. It's a game that has 33% of each of memory, strategy, and a little bit of luck. And it's a real dosage of one third of each. Uh, the shepherd always starts the game and is going to place two barriers anywhere he wants on the map, in between two, or on the side. doesn't have to have them connected. Your objective is to lock my sheep. Okay? okay. It's a very good yeah, variant, for example, you could do like that. It's a very good variant of a memory game. For me, it starts like a memory game. I'm going to flip two tiles, and if I have the same ship, this is like the shy one and this is joyful one, then I take them. If not, I put them down. Okay. The twist is that if you totally locked with buyers one ship or more than one ship, then I'm not supposed to reveal them in there anymore. Okay. Okay? Let's go like this. And there's a few tiles that have special effects that I'll show you when they pop up. Okay. So me, I like to take risk. Oh, oh I had this wow, one, and I, I think the other one is here. So I take them, and I don't replay, and then it's your turn. Okay. The game ends when everything is revealed or everything is locked, and we count how many sheep I have and how many you locked, and then we reverse. And, and then oh, we man. reverse the the sides. So hmm, I could take risk here, or you cannot bother because oh, I can try. It's this is lost. hungry guy, the hungry sheep, and again, there's only five different sheep, and okay. there's four of each. So it's not very hard memory because there's only uh, four, five different type of sheep. Okay. But we're going to see some special ties at some point. Okay. So, if we... Aha! Uh -huh. So you did a lock here. Oh. So I got all the shy ones. It's still you. Okay. So you're greedy so, here. Yes. I don't know. Not oh. be too greedy. Oh, I saw this one already. Oh, this is the relaxing one in the sun. So where are the special tiles? Okay. Uh... Sleepy, ah, angry. Okay. Hmm. Yes, angry and angry. But if I now fence in this. Yeah. Oh, it's not fenced in yet. Ah, here's the special one. Okay. So this is the, I don't know what you call it in. A the, ram that breaks the through. male yes. the sheet. So what he's going to do is going to break a barrier. So I could free those guys. Okay. The, this doesn't count, it's kicked out, so it doesn't count as a tile that I reveal. I still have to reveal two tiles. So I'm gonna try here. Oh, there was a sleepy somewhere. Oh no. Okay. And then it's your turn so again. I can you can lock again, lock of course. Again. And you keep going until yeah. the end. There's another tile. There's, there's three tiles like that. Let me see. And you have the tile that is the shepherd. Who fixes a barrier? So you had one barrier when I flip it over. Okay. Okay. And that's it. It's and like then we reverse. So. Yeah, it's like eight minutes one game, and we reverse. Okay. And so then it's like fifteen and minutes. Sum the scores. And we keep the score. There. We sum the scores, and, okay. and you count everything you've locked. Or oh, just one thing at the end, when there's only like less than five ships that are not locked, the player who plays the ship is going to keep them revealed, so it reaches the end by itself. Right. And that's it. So it's easy, I think it's a good variant of the memory. It's a little bit of strategy. And yes. both roles are so very different that uh, once you're very into memorizing and once you're very into strategy with the buyers, so it's, the asymmetry is really strong. So it's really interesting to play both sides. That's why we decided to do it. Okay, well thanks for the overview. So that's for Nuremberg, uh, beginning, beginning 2015.